Hi, my name is Sylvia. Welcome to the channel. This is your first time here. My name is Sylvia. I'm a licensed hairdresser. So today I want to talk about a topic that has been exploding all over TikTok and that is contrast of your skin and therefore it depicting what kind of makeup you wear so that it looks the best on you. channel we've talked about picking the right color for you depending on what skin tone you have so cool warm or neutral that's kind of like the very basics there's also finding your season which is a much more in-depth way of figuring out what colors look best on you not just for hair but with everything that you wear and now we're seeing this trend with contrast finding what type of contrast your face and hair and features has so that you can better choose the right makeup for you again as a color specialist myself this is something i've always just kind of like thought about and never really gave a name to but i feel like contrast is so important and in today's video we're going to talk about how that is important for finding your hair color also so when you're finding out your contrast you're looking at the colors that you already have the hair color that you have your skin tone and how that relates or contrasts to the rest of your features such as your eyes your eyebrows and so on because i am a mid to low contrast this is why heavy eyeliners have never looked good on me heavy lipsticks and i used to think it was like the shape of my features but absolutely it is because of the contrast so that means that my skin tone to my hair color to my eye color doesn't have a lot of variation so i'm naturally maybe higher contrast than I look right now because my hair is naturally darker. But because my eyes are hazel, like it's not dark and it's not light blue, and because I am pretty fair skin, I actually feel the dark hair on myself looks really contrasty. Now I think if my personality was more dramatic and I felt like that was me, that would be my look with the more extreme dark hair and really play up my higher contrast. But because I do color my hair lighter and I do feel like that does suit my personality and kind of my vibe or my essence so much more, that in all makes me a light spring if we're talking about seasons. I feel like I'm just giving you a ton of information, but what I hope this does is kind of gets you thinking, maybe why you've done, maybe why you've picked the hair color you have, whether something either doesn't feel right, but you don't know which one it is. Obviously our skin tone is the one thing that we should be playing up and enhancing, not changing. Now, someone that has high contrast features or high contrast coloring is someone like Lily Collins and Hathaway. Really light skin tone, dark features, and dark hair. What I hope this does is kind of gets you thinking maybe why you've picked the hair color you have, whether something either doesn't feel right, but you don't know which one it is. But I kind of wanted to go over like essentially the three types of contrast so basically low contrast is like blonde blue eyes light skin or deep skin tone dark hair dark eyes dark features those are like the clear low contrast meaning everything is very harmonious and very much the same for these people actually like beiges and creams and again nothing that like stands out will work best for you. And I, I would say that maybe most of the population is probably gonna fit in the more mid contrast kind of range, which is kind of a little bit of both. And I think this is where it gets kind of confusing because we always kind of want to pick one. I, even being a color specialist, when I analyze myself for knowing like whether it was cool, warm or neutral, like I, I had the hardest time and then realized, oh, I'm neutral. But unless your features are not all the same or all completely the opposite, you'll most likely be somewhat in the middle range. And then again, high contrast, this would be your light skin, blue eyes, but super dark hair, like that striking look. So high contrast, striking, 
low contrast, very harmonious and soft. So the big takeaway that I would like for you to get from this is analyze what you currently have and what feels most like you. I know I feel like lately on my channel when it comes to deciding like what colors and shapes that I'm helping you kind of like find that will look good on you, I keep bringing it back to a feeling, but I feel like that's how you are going to get the hair and the look that is the most you. In doing virtual consults for the last four years, that is like one of the biggest things that I hear women say all the time. It's like, I want this color because it'll be easier because it X, Y, Z. And then when I ask like, what would you feel good in? It's like almost always something else. And so think about what it is that you have, find your contrast levels and see whether that does feel right with what you want to portray and how you want to feel. Like I said, high contrast, more extreme edgy, like that's not how I would describe myself or how I feel. So again, lightening my hair is how I kind of like balance those three things out. But another thing that I've realized, the fact that I am mid to low contrast and not fully low contrast, anytime that I've had hair that's kind of too much one color and it's light, it completely washes me out. Same thing with colors. If I have on too much of a beigey look that looks too close to my skin tone or hair tone, again, completely washes me out. So it's again, in the mid range, it's about being soft, but still having a little bit of contrast. Otherwise it's just like too blended and too uninteresting. Whereas someone with low contrast, that would really suit them because it would look super harmonious and it doesn't look boring. So again, if you're still here and are still a little bit confused, color of your eyes, color of your skin, color of your current hair, so you can find out what your current contrast is or analyze it with your natural hair color. Kind of see what that difference does and whether the difference you're making with your hair is the correct one. The reason why I made this video is because I actually heard two women that I respect their opinions on a lot of things and they were talking about this and they were so confused by it, like to the point that even though I was driving, I wanted to pull over and like write them a message. They were so confused about the low contrast and high contrast on deep skin tones and they like could not see how you know anyone with a different skin color would fit in any of these other categories and so i figured if maybe they were confused about it i should do a video explaining this to me i think it's actually a very simple concept and i hope you find it as well if you have any questions I'll leave them down below and I would love to, to know what everyone is. All right, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I have low battery, hurry up. Nice. I'll also say hi to Adam in his underwear. Okay, I literally have like 30 seconds. <laughs>